Seed of Chucky was released on November 12, 2004. And it seems like everybody who has seen this film hates it or just has an utter dislike for it. It received mixed and negative reviews from critics, Roger Ebert giving it 2 stars out of 4, saying, Seed of Chucky is actually two movies, one wretched and the other funny. And to be honest, I can't really disagree with that. Now, I think it's obvious and common knowledge that I actually do like the movie. It's not the best Chucky movie out there, but there are much, much worse horror sequels out there. But I can't understand all the negativity surrounding it, and I must ask the question, is Sia Chucky really that bad? I don't know, I think that this film isn't as bad as people say, and really, it could have been worse. A lot of people refer to this film as a failure, and they are kind of right. With critics and fans, it was a failure, but at the box office, it did pretty solid. Ultimately, it grossed $24,829,644 on the $12 million budget. So, it didn't necessarily bomb when it was all over. Now, at first, it did seem that way, opening at number 4 behind films like After the Sunset, The Polar Express, and The Incredibles, which was number 1. It took in only $8 million... $8,774,520, below its $12 million budget. When it closed out on December 23, 2004, it ultimately took in $17,083,732, or whatever. Now will post the number, domestically, and $24,829,644 worldwide. So, it didn't necessarily bomb, but it didn't do quite as well as Universal was probably hoping. Anyway, what's the story? Well, the child of Chucky and Tiffany that was born at the end of Bride is now six years old and living with an abusive puppet master. He sees Chucky and Tiffany on the TV and escapes to Hollywood, where he meets up with the two. The two are unsure of what gender it is, with Chucky believing it to be a male, and Tiffany believes it to be a female, with Chucky calling it Glenn and Tiffany calling it Glenda. Chucky and Tiffany then plan to transfer their souls into James Rotillion, the Red Man, who played themselves. Now, I totally understand why so many people don't like this movie. It focuses more on comedy than horror, which understandably turns off a lot of fans. And Chucky's, um, special scene is just weird. Though, I do know some people who like it. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm also not a fan of Glenn. I just thought he could have been written better. I do like the idea of Glenn having a split personality, Glenn and Glenda, but they don't do very much with it. But on the positive side, I do like Jennifer Tilly in it. I mean, she's great in everything she does. She has a great sense of humor about herself, and it's pretty funny in this. The jokes in here are pretty funny as well. The violence is also upped in this movie, probably being the goriest Chucky movie at the time of its release. In fact, this particular movie is actually how I first heard of Chucky in the first place, as I used to see commercials for this movie all the time while watching WWE Monday Night Raw. But anyway, overall, I think T.O. Chucky isn't as bad as people say. With that said, I do understand why people hate it, but I'm not one of those people. If you haven't seen it, I'd say see it and decide for yourself.